Welcome to the workshop. Hi, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm looking at a little maquette. And those of you who followed me on my blog will know that I started designing a low back chair about two months ago. And I worked through a number of designs on paper and eventually decided to build a little maquette, a little scale model to just decide that, or just confirm that the design was what I wanted to go ahead with and uh, this is where I've got to so far I've scooped out a solid seat into what will be a very comfortable shape and I've cut out the, the legs in the square at the moment uh, they need to be rounded off that's a job for perhaps later today the backrest is very bulky at the moment uh, I've got the rough curve that I want to it but there's a lot of material still to take away and another important job to do quite soon now is to fit the arms I have a, a very rough shape of, of them. I need to first of all get the joints nicely fitted together and then at that point start to carve away at the bulk of the material to bring it into proportion with the rest of the chair. None of these joints are glued up yet and I'll wait until all the components are nicely shaped and the joints all nicely fitted before I start gluing anything onto the, the seat. It's a lot easier to work on the components for rounding and fitting other joints on them if they're not connected to other components. So I'm going to video a few of the things I'm doing today on it. I might um, put a, a commentary over the top if there's anything particularly important uh, to tell you otherwise you can just view and, and see what I'm doing so I hope you enjoy it I'm just marking the centers of the legs so that I can use that as a reference when I round them if I leave my pencil lines and just round off the corners we should get a nice shaped leg. See where it gets to a joint and there's a flare in there, those need to be worked pretty much with the chair together to make sure it looks looks nice. But we can put the leg on loosely and just work on it like that. Um, maybe make some pencil marks to to fare to and then remove it again move work along quickly you really want as coarse a rasp as you can manage but on such a small component that's quite difficult I like these Japanese files which work with a, a planing action if you use them correctly they can leave a very nice finish so I'm just working around each corner of the leg I'm staying away from the, the area of the joint for the moment just checking, sighting at the end to make sure we're staying fairly uniform we've turned what was a square section on the end now into a, an octagonal shape and then we can just continue round over the, the eight sides it now has bring it into a 16 sided shape and then gradually into a round turning the leg as I do it to bring it into a nice round I'm 
we'll move over to a, a smoother file now. And that's quite pleasing. That's looking quite good. Now I can look at the, the joint area here. I do know, I've marked on here from the seat, part of the joint which is outside of the, the, the seat itself. And some of that material can be removed. And then we can bring the round from the leg through the joint area a little bit. Now I'm just fairing the, the joints, joint areas of the front legs. Still haven't glued these on. So I'm not not going all the way to the finished fairing but I'm getting close so that once it's glued there's not too much more work to do on it just taking a bit more away from the the underside of the chair seat just to make it look a little bit lighter So just take the front leg off now and finish rounding the top up to the arm. So one leg done, three more to go. So that's completed the rounding of the legs and the fairing into the joints to a certain degree. So now I want to tackle fitting the arms the angles at the joints should be pretty close. I shot those earlier at uh, what I thought was the right angle and they are pretty good. But I need to take a six degree angle off here to match that of the the backrest. So I'll get my shooting board and I'll do that. By placing the backrest against the fence on my shooting board and then holding the the arm against it, I can get exactly the right angle that I need to shoot on the edge of the arm. And that looks very good. Now, now I need to mark out some of the extra material which I'm going to have to cut away. A bit more of the shaping of the arm. Assembling a small model like this can be very tricky. Clamping is awkward and let's face it, with such tiny joints, being pinpoint accurate is always a struggle. To help me with assembly of this chair, I've made a baseboard and drilled holes for the legs. So that hold the bottom of the legs in the right position, then I can apply clamps further up to pull the joints tight. I'm also going to drill through the joints and insert cocktail sticks, two millimeter dowels, which should be equivalent to the larger dowels or screws that one might use in final production. And I might as well just say now I'm going to be using tight bond liquid hide glue, which will give me a chance to take it apart should there be any problems later on. As I say, I'm using cocktail sticks. I find them excellent for this, this sort of work. Two mil drill bit will give me exactly what I need. And such a small hole when we cut off and uh, sand down the, the end grain on a cocktail stick, it will look fine. It will just look like a, a coloured plug. So I'm drilling on the other side but in, into this joint here for two dowels in a sort of dovetail shape so it doesn't just pull out easily. Now I'll flip my assembly board round and do the holes from the back. So 
So I've completed the drilling and pegging of the, the dowel holes and you can now see the, the finished chair as it were before I disassemble it ready for gluing up. I'm quite pleased with how it's looking. So next I'll take the, the chair apart, glue the joints together and uh, glue the dowels in. Then clean them off, give it a final sanding and give it a little coat of some probably tongue oil or something like that, similar, just to finish to give it an idea of what it'd be like when the finished piece is put together. As you can see I glued it up yesterday. Uh, it's been in clamps now for 22 hours, so it should be should be okay to work with now. As you can see, I made a lot of use of masking tape to hold the thing together. Normal uh, clamps tend to be far too big for this sort of work. So there we have it. Obviously I left the pegs rather long, we need to cut those off, sand them flush, a bit of sanding, cleaning up around the joints. The board holding the legs, the assembly jig has worked really well. I think we can just pop that out of there now. Needs to be. So with all the pegs cut back now, we start to see what the chair really looks like. And I'm unreasonably happy with it. I can see a few things that I would probably like to change. Some of the sweeps in the arms are a little bit different to that. But I'm not too displeased. 